hello guys and welcome to today's class we're trying to solve the example three under the concept of proving um identities right so let's try to solve example three as you can see in front of you so i'll pick out this equation here and try to prove it and try to prove it so such that i will have one as being my answer how do you do that first first my first tax here is to repeat out the question i have that one over one plus tan square theta um plus one over one plus cot squared theta right so how do you prove this has been equal to one so let's get this done please all right my very first tax here is um quite simple right so what's the tax the tax is that i'm having one plus tan square theta the original form is that if i have what we know before now from two identity is that, is that if I have one plus tan square theta, that will give what the sec squared theta. That's the meaning. We also have that one for this one, for this one, we have that one plus cot square theta will give what the co sec squared theta. These are from our last class of trick identity. So know this two stuff, right? So it means that anywhere I see one plus tan square theta, I can replace this as what as square theta. So it means that from here, I'll have that this one all over this one can be expressed as what sec square theta. So I'll have sec square theta here. Yeah? So plus this one here is one all over one plus tan a cut square theta. We give what the cosec squared theta so i can replace everything here as being equal to this so i'll have cosec squared theta all right at this point here what's the next tax at this point we know something for now we know something for now what do we know um the expression for this becomes we know that observe please observe something please we know that um, sec theta, we always leave what the 1 over cos theta. This is what we know before now, right? We also know that if I have, uh, what's it called? Cosec theta, that will give 1 over sine theta. These are the two um, expressions we have discussed in the last class on this, right? So it means that, here's the idea, please. Here's the key. I can observe, please. This one now, I have sec, sec theta has been equal to 1 over cos theta. This means that I can see express this as saying cos theta has been equal to what? I'll swap it. So that becomes 1 over what? Sec theta. Observe, please. This is just, this is just mathematics, mathematics, pure math. Just swap these two, right? Swap it. I'll have this one here. So cos theta comes first. This one down. This is mathematics. So what does it mean? If I have 1 over sec theta, I can replace as what? Cos theta. So I will replace everything here as what? As being equal to what? Cos theta. Similarly, apply this this one. Swap it. Swap. I will have sin theta as being equal to what? 1 over sec theta. This is correct. Sorry. Cosec theta, please. I have cosec theta. This is correct, right? So the idea is that this is what we know before now. Just swap it. I have this. Swap it. I have this one here. So what does it mean? Anyway, I see one over sec theta, or perhaps sec square theta. You give me what? Is give me what? Cos square theta. So for me, I will have cos squared theta. No, I'm having a square here. For this one, I didn't consider square. All right, let me put square here. I will have square here. If I put square here, I will have a square here. I will have a square here. A square. Um, square and a square. Let's do it this way, right? So from here now, anyway, I see this one, this expression, this one. I will put as this value. So I see here. So plus, this is plus sign. This one of our cos square theta, cos square theta. So I'm having this one here. I'll replace this one here. I'm going to put the word sin theta. So I have sin square theta. At this point now, all my plans are. My plans are is what is one. Yes, it's one because we know that cos theta plus sin theta will give what will give one, so it becomes an answer. So what we know for now is that I gave you this, this right. I also give you that 
because what is that plus sign? What is that equal to one? So I'm seeing everything here at this point. So just look at what look at one. So matter becomes one. Here. So I prove this one to be equal to what this, as you can see in front of you. So this is how to solve this particular problem using the concept of um, geometry identity. Next class, we'll try to prove several other um, identities in our next class. So see you in our next class. Thanks for watching and welcome to Excellent Academy. Also, I've created a WhatsApp group to further communicate ideas. So that WhatsApp group, different students from different countries are there. If I'm interested in doing a WhatsApp group, I'll drop the link to WhatsApp group in the description of this video. So check this one this one of this video. I'll drop the link to the WhatsApp group. So see you um, in this class.